Looking for a way to spice up your wedding? Bring in decor and food to reflect your background with ideas that you'll find in my book, Wedding Chic, and from this incredible wedding I designed for my friend, the legendary star chef, Jean-Georges van der and his stunningly gorgeous wife, Marja Allen. This truly was a magical day. The wedding ceremony took place in two forms. There was a small family and close friend ceremony in a tent on the roof of the Soho house for 50 people. After cocktails and a change of dresses, we headed downstairs for Korean-style multi-denominational blessing for 300 people in John George's famous Spice Market restaurant. Because it was an October wedding in New York City, for the Soho House ceremony, I decided to line the inside of the tent on three sides and the ceiling with a combination of autumnal colors from rich cream to beautiful rust, all of which culminated in the center of the ceiling and hung beautiful floral adorned chandeliers. To demarcate the walkway up the aisle, I used beautiful tall rustic aisle stanchions with glass hurricanes filled with beautiful cream pillar candles that were surrounded by cups of autumnal flowers, magnolia leaves, proteas and hanging green amaranthus. The front side of the tent was a clear glass window with magnificent views looking out onto the Hudson and the setting sun. In the two corners in the back of the ceremony area, a quartet of harps played for the bride and groom's arrival. Dr. Linda Garbett, who presided over the wedding ceremony, cleansed the room with burning sage, then told the love story of Jean, George and Marja, which brought tears to every eye. Standing in front of their guests, they performed a washing of the hand ceremony, where their mothers and fathers came and washed and dried their hands as a symbol of cleansing them before they made their wonderful commitment to one another. But what kept the tears rolling was when Jean George brought a loaf of bread to the ceremony and in that loaf of bread had used the spices and herbs that most reminded him of Marja. After this wonderful ceremony, guests enjoyed cocktails on the roof before heading to the spice market for the blessing and dinner to an additional 250 guests. Marja, in a brand new dress, led guests downstairs to the spice market. The second ceremony, a Korean blessing, took place under an arbor filled with garlands of white orchids, crystals and gardenias. The bride and groom exchanged their vows and made a blessing, this time with a stunning ceremonial necklace made of amber and semi-precious stones. What made this reception even more spectacular was the 10-course menu served family style, beginning with Jean George's legendary beggar's purses, topped with gold leaf and filled with beluga caviar. The dinner ended with cake design and Margaret Braun's amazing masterpiece, which emulated the pattern in the tablecloth. During dinner, the downstairs ceremony was transformed into a chic nightclub and we danced the night away to music by the legendary Paris DJ, Stéphane Pompignac. This wedding truly reflected the bride and groom's backgrounds, their penchant for having a good time, and best of all, their love story.